Hey, what's up, everybody? Zero ninety four here, bringing you another action figure review. And thanks to popular demand, I am bringing you the Super Saiyan three Son Goku the Tong version of SH Figures. Of course, this is the bootleg knockoff by the Tong uh, China company. Uh, finally, uh, getting my review through. I know you guys have been asking for this one for a while now, so I'm bringing it to you. Uh, trust me, I've been trying to fulfill all the requests I get in the comments. Uh, and so far I think I believe that I have so anyways this review is being brought to you by agelessgeeks.com uh, Big thanks to them because without them this would not be possible um, So thank you agelessgeeks.com go ahead and check their website out again This is the website I always buy my figure arts from if you guys have seen some of my other reviews. I mentioned them before um, I'll put the link in the description uh, But it's not just Dragon Ball Z it's other imports as well. So a very good site I'll mention them before the video is over uh, once again, but let's get straight to the review here. Here is Son Goku Super Saiyan 3. Uh, and this is a different knockoff than the other uh, SS3 Goku that I, I, I reviewed that I made. Uh, that's another Chinese company that sucked balls. Uh, this one should be better, as you've seen uh, throughout my other the Tong uh, reviews. That they do a little bit better job than, um, than the other company. And here is the box. Of course, everything's the same except everything's in Chinese, and uh, we have the Tong logos on the bottom. But let's crack this guy open and see what we got. All right, guys, and there is the, the Tong Super Saiyan 3 Goku out of the package. And first and foremost, I, it's a very nice knockoff. Once again, the Tong pretty much never fails in their um, their look. I mean, it, it's not exactly the same as the original, which they never are the same, but. I mean, it's a, it's compared to the other knockoffs, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This one definitely beats it by a million. Now he isn't as um, his joints aren't as stiff as I'd like them to be. He's a little on the loose side, uh, but not too bad to the point where he can't stand. Because as you can see, he is standing. I just had to get him into a little pose. Uh, as it is, the original is very hard to stand because of that hair. That headpiece is so top heavy that you kind of have to lean him forward to um, to stand him. To stand him up you know and so as you can see he's in a pose where he's kind of leaning forward but he doesn't look unnatural he doesn't look stupid so I mean it's not that bad if you can get him in that right pose he looks okay he looks good first and foremost I really do like this head scope a lot I mean they did a pretty damn good job on this and then of course they made the uh the outfit to where it's not that mustard yellow like the original is it's a little bit looks more like the uh, SS Goku yellowish and it's got some, you know, orange airbrush onto it as well. So it's pretty nice looking color in my opinion. Came out pretty nice. Uh, but as you can see here, the headpiece or the hair uh, came out nice in my opinion. I really liked how they made it very nice. And it, they are in pieces just like the original one is. And it holds the head pretty well. You can look up and then you can look all the way down. And kind of it holds the hair. So the neck joint is a pretty hard joint. So I like how they made that. Uh... So getting the pieces, getting the joints back to where they go, you can, I mean, he's a little loose on the waist from my liking, as you can see, uh, and that ha probably has to do with the top heaviness. Uh, the neck joint is, I mean, it's good, so I'm glad they didn't make that loose because he can at least hold his head. Uh, the arms are all right. They do hold up, so might as well just go on to the articulation from here. So left and right, up and down, just like your standard Goku mold or body mold. Bicep swivel with double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel with a hinge. Uh, of course, the sleeves articulate, so the same thing as the other arm. Rotation swivel at the waist, forward and back. Uh, forward and back on the leg, and they do hold so that those joints are not loose. And then SH figure style drop down, knees bend. Forward and back on the ankle, left and right, uh, ankle pivot slash rocker into articulation. So the main loose piece here is that waist, and I really don't like how loose that is. Everything else seems to hold themselves together, and, and they do articulate pretty well. So here's a good look at that face sculpt that I was talking about, and he looks pretty damn decent in my opinion. They did a good job with the paint there, uh, and the line work in the eyes. Everything looks very good. The sculpt came out nice, just like the original. Uh, there's the hair piece, a little closer look at that. You can see it's not just a flat yellow, it's got some orange in there as well. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. You can kind of see the orange onto the yellow there. Uh, he kind of, he does have different skin tones, uh, so the skin tone isn't consistent in my opinion. Uh, the arm especially is a dark, dark skin tone right here. And then of course the peg is a lot lighter. Uh, I believe that the arms are darker than the uh, chest 
shoulder area and then the neck is a little darker as well I don't know if you can catch it on the camera but I definitely see it in person I get on to the accessories of the figure now we'll go ahead and start off with the face which only comes with a second alternate face so it's only two faces as how the original came uh, they did a pretty decent job at this uh, you'll see in more detail with the differences between the real and the fake one when I make my comparison video but uh, pretty good compared to the old uh, KO or you know the, the first KO that I got and I made a video of the teeth were all black and nasty uh, the tongue does a better job at their paint apps and sculpt in my opinion now I did come with some red weird red stuff on the back of the head but at least it's on the back of the head not the front and it doesn't mess it up but I do notice that they have a little bit of like the plastic cut uh, kind of like I don't know what they did but they or maybe they got some extra plastic that they forgot to cut uh, but there's some excess plastic that is just like sticking out from there also comes with of course the instant transmission hand the two open hands right here same as the originals and then the grabbing hands as well of course comes with a halo here is the peg for the stand where you can put your um, Aurora effect which is one of the coolest effects that has come out for figure arts is the you know the Super Saiyan Aurora effect going around them and pretty cool I mean if you have the original and you have the tongue now you have an extra one that you can put around Vegeta or somebody else you know that is Super Saiyan so it's a pretty good piece to have so that pretty much concludes the review of the, the Tong uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, as far as I can see it's a really good the uh, it's a really good knockoff for the price it's around $35. It's definitely cheaper than the actual official release of this figure. Now it's up to you which one do you want. Uh, if you want to wait around and wait for my comparison video, I will do with the Tong and the real one to help you decide a little bit more than uh, go ahead and wait for that review to come out. Uh, but what I can tell you about this figure, I really do like how he looks. He's going to look good with your other figures. Indeed, he's not. Uh, some people may like this body more. Uh, than the mustard yellow that the original one came with. So if you like this review, uh, give a big thanks to AceLessGeeks.com for making this happen. And also while you're at it, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and leave a comment, and subscribe if you would like. And you guys have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.